right, let me show you how to make this quick and easy orzo salad. Um, if you're not familiar with orzo, all it is is a pasta um, and it resembles rice. It looks just like rice to me. Um, this has already been cooked, drained, and rinsed, and I just have it in a bowl. Um, and what else you're going to need to put in it is whatever vegetables you choose. There is no rules to this salad, but what I'm putting in it today, um, I have like about uh, a third of a cup each of chopped red and yellow bell pepper, a fourth of a cup of chopped red onions. Um, this is a two and a half ounce can of sliced black olives and a half of an English cucumber that I've, I've halved and sliced and of course peeled it because I don't want the skin. Um, in it and what I'm about to do now is chop some blanched um, asparagus all I did was drop it in the hot water boiling water cooked it for a couple minutes and then I put it into some ice water to stop it from cooking and keep the color so yeah so I'm just gonna chop that up roughly because I want to be able to see it and people to identify it it in the salad so yep and there we go and what I'm gonna do to the asparagus and a little more flavor is I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon juice on it it already was cooked in salted water but I just like the way lemon juice brightens it up so yep just adding it on top just the juice of a half of a small lemon and Okie dokie. So what I'm going to do is just slide all of this into the bowl with the orzo. And y'all, this is like super easy. Oops, lost a piece. Slide it over. So you can see, sorry y'all. And then I'm going to add my other veggies. Just add them in there. Probably should have got a bigger bowl, but I think we'll be okay. And just kind of mix all that in. So that with every bite, you'll get some of the veggies. I love this salad. I saw... The initial recipe on the Food Network with Jada De Laurentiis, she did a version of it, but of course, some of the stuff she put in it, at that time, I did not have, so I improvised and kind of came up <laughs> with my own recipe or version of it, and I've been making it ever since. So, super easy. Okay. Now, what I want to do is add some feta cheese. Now, this is just a three ounce package of feta cheese that I got from Dollar Tree. They carry this feta. You can use any brand of feta you want to use. Um, I already have a bag open, so if this is not enough, of course, I'll use some of the um, other ones. So it looks like I will need to, because that's not enough. little opening and add that in as well I was making a big mess but it's a part of cooking makes it fun all right I'm gonna mix that in and feta has a nice little bite to it so it kind of adds um, a good flavor to the salad now I'm gonna add some salt and pepper it so just pinch of salt to taste I'm not a big salt person but I know some people like salt but I am a pepper person so I'm gonna add some pepper a lot <laughs> but salt and pepper to taste and then I'm gonna mix it I always do this before I add the dressing which I'm gonna show you in a minute because I just feels like, I feel like whether it adheres to the pasta and the veggies and stuff a little better. So, yeah. 
Okie dokie. Now. Okay, so the dressing I'm gonna use is a bottle store-bought dressing. You can make your own. But what I'm using because I'm pressed for time, I'm gonna use this Robusto Italian. I love this Italian dressing. This is by far my favorite bottled Italian dressing. But you can use lemon juice if you want to or olive oil and lemon juice, vinegar. Make sure whatever kind of vinaigrettes you wanna use. What kind of, whatever dressing, basically, whatever you want to use is fine. Again, there are no rules, so I'm just going to eyeball and squeeze about, oh, uh, I want to say about a third of a cup and then stir it because this pasta is going to absorb that dressing and you may have to add some more once it sits a little while before you serve it um, or while serving it, but it's, yeah, like I said, this is super easy and it's a big hit with uh, my family. Okie dokie. And that's it, y'all. That is it. Oh gosh, that dressing smells good in a nutshell. So that's it. So it looks so pretty too and colorful. I love, 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 love this recipe. So yeah, there you have it, your orzo salad. If you have any questions, you know guys, you can leave that below. Again, feel free to add whatever kind of veggies, um, ingredients or whatever. You can add like some cooked shrimp or some um, chicken, turkey, uh, whatever you wanna add to it, it will be totally fine. So yeah my orzo salad um, like i said again if you have any questions leave them below don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter all that information will be below as well and if you haven't already please subscribe and that's gonna do it so until my next video me and the salad will see you then <laughs> bye y'all Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Mwah.